and I'm here with another video on how to get the best performance out of Windows 10 for your favorite games. Today's date is July 16th, 2018. Let us begin. I want to first start off with you opening up services and I want you to disable the following service. Connected user experience and telemetry. Diagnostic policy service, distributed link tracking client, and this thing right here. I want you to disable them all. Now, you may ask yourself, well, I've seen these before. Why are you telling me this? I've already done it. Because there's additional step that I have not seen explained. And that is when you open these up, you're going to have to go to the recovery tab. I'm going to use this as an example, diagnostic policy service, because what you're going to find, if it fails, it's going to try to restart itself. So what you want to do is you want to disable that to keep them from starting up. Now, you don't have to do this for every service, but I found very specific Windows 10 services will actually restart themselves. So what you want to do is you want to go here and you want to select take no action for the first and second failure attempts, take no action. And I want you to change this to zero. Reset uh, fail count after zero days. Once you hit apply, hit OK and go on to the next one. And make sure that take no action is what you want. So make sure that service remains disabled. Now, the next step I want you to do, type in CMD in your search box. And I want you to uh, open it up, run as administrator. And I want you to type the following command. Now, I'm going to bring it up here. I want you to disable dynamic clock and, so, and select yes as to how you're going to disable it. So that means you copy this right here and hit the enter key. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. What this does is this disables an option in Windows 10 that tries to conserve battery life by varying the speed of device processor based on its workload. You don't need that enabled, so you can disable that by doing that. The next thing I want you to do is I want you, if you ever tinkered with this here, this use platform clock. If you ever tinkered with it, I want you to undo that change. You do not want to enable it. You do not want to disable it. You want to leave it at Windows default. Don't mess with it because it does, it does nothing to help improve performance in games. Timing is more important than actual raw performance. And so you do not want to mess with this at all. In some cases, it will slow down your gaming experience. So you want to disable it by removing it and return it to default. That was the caveat. And when I researched this, that bring Windows to its normal state. And to do so, you have to delete it, not changing it to false. And you may have an application that may require its use. So what you're doing is you're disabling it with no benefit having it disabled at all. So what you want to do is you want to delete the value and let Windows decide if that application is calling for that this particular feature to be enabled or disabled. What you want to do is you want to type this here. And you want to hit OK. And that will delete the value that you input it. Let's move on. For those who have Windows 10 1803, there's an ultimate performance power plan that you can enable that will supposedly re, uh, remove any and all battery conservative restrictions. What you want to do, enable that, you want to type this into the command prompt, like just like this. Hit enter, and then you want to type in choose a power plan in the search box, and it'll come up, and you will now see Ultimate Performance Power Plan become available. I do thank you for your time. Have a nice day.